Let's do this. This is the May Day at the Range 22 challenge. We have got our targets set up out there. In case you don't know what we're going to be shooting at, here's what the targets look like. So let's get started and have some fun. Before we get started, let's go over the gear. Here's the stock. Here's the action. Here's the barrel. Here's the uh, scope, the front rack, and the ammo we're going to be using. Pretty much standard for what I normally use. This is, uh, like I said, the center edge. It has been shooting better than the long range in my gun, so I'm pretty excited about that, especially for this challenge. So let's get the trigger cam set up. Let's get everything going, and we'll see how we can do. And we're going to go ahead and give this one a run first. This video brought to you by Bullet Central. I'm shooting a single a single shot, no repeater, no magazine. And I know Elijah said 30 seconds per target, which is 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, I'm not going to need that much time. I'm actually going to try to run this in the 190 second repeater time frame. Uh, my biggest obstacle is just uh, getting ammo out of my ammo block. I've got it lifted so I can grab the rims, but that's going to be the, the biggest kicker here. But I think I'll be okay. We've got just a little bit of wind. You can see that target. Apparently I missed a staple and it's flopping a little bit, but you know what? That's actually okay because it's a little bit of a wind gauge for me. And we're just going to see what happens. So this is a no, no cider target. And I'll show you just for fun. We're going to go over here. So I'm just kind of watching that target and it's not really flapping over. It's just got a little bit of flap to it. So we're going to see what that reads like. And that's pretty dead on. So I feel pretty good about that. If anything, I'll hold just a hair to the right. But we're going to want to do this. And let's see how this goes. So I don't have a timer because my phone is actually recording. But for the sake of this, it starts, uh, according to Elijah, when the first shot is taken. I'll try to put a running timer up on the screen here and we'll see what happens. Picked up a little bit. Here, and we're going to hold over a little bit more. It looks like that's picking up just a hair. jerk that one just a hair. And time for these last three at the bottom. Your last two at the bottom here. So you just have to touch these. Right through the middle. And oh I think I touched it. All right, that's first target. So give me a second to reset and we will go from there. 
and we'll start the timer after the first shot. Now it's not it's not blowing, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, oops. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this one first since it's the most likely to move if it blows again. It's a little bit off the backer. see how this target scores with it moving. Probably not the greatest. I'm just kind of running through this one here. Ooh. Yeah, this definitely won't count. I can't believe I jerked that one all the way off. Everything else about this one wasn't horrible. Well, aside from, well, I don't know. I might have gotten a point there. Let's we'll see. But it ain't going to score as good as that one did. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, we're just going to, oh, you know what? I just realized. Let's get this third target fired up. I'm going to move my ammo just a little bit here so I can reach it easier. And again, timer is going to start as soon as we take our first shot. You want to just reset it? No, yeah, I'm good. Our uh, 20 minute timer on the line, we just went off. And I'm at the far end from the controls, so somebody was asking me if I was okay to just keep going. Oh, the trees are definitely moving a little bit more now. Shoot. Didn't look like it was moving that much. That's what I get for not believing it. This is a tough little challenge. Overcorrected on that one. Oh man, well, not great. I have to really pull it together on this next one here. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I mean, it's it's definitely blowing more out there. And I don't have any indicators other than other than that piece of paper right there. So yeah, 
we're going to wait a minute to start this target because it looks like it's blowing pretty good. <laughs> that one's blowing up there now. I think, my I think my first target might be my best target. I wouldn't mind if it just stayed blowing. But I think it's going to let off here in a second. Here we go. Let's give this one a run. Point of aim that changed. Gonna hedge our bets a little on this one. Well, time back to back to the center hold here. Sometimes I'm a little slow. Last two. Let's just get these things hit. Ooh, might have clipped that one. There we go. Well, that's four targets. That seems like a reasonable amount today. I don't know how I did. I don't think it was very good, but... We'll go back to the shop, we'll add them up, and we'll see what the score looks like. We are back in the shop, and let's just go over these targets. Now, it started pouring rain before I could get out and get my targets. You can see uh, the ink was running, and it's pretty blurred, and, well, they're not the prettiest targets. But I did get a chance to go through these, and I did talk to Elijah a little bit about the targets because I don't shoot a lot of, uh, you know, ARA-type targets, and I wanted to make sure that everything got scored correctly, so... I actually sent him some of these targets and said, hey, make sure that I am doing this correctly. So let's go through these targets one by one. This was the first target that I shot. It didn't start off bad. I had a seven, a six, and a six, and, and then seven, seven, eight, seven, five, five. So, you know, it is what it is, but you know, I was pretty happy with some of these shots. And then I hit this one pretty darn good. I got it all inside, but uh, right here, just a little bit outside the green line. So alas, it does not count. And that's okay. Like the rules were you could start over and this and that, but for me, I was just gonna shoot one target and be done. And that's fine too. So when it was my last one, I couldn't tell either way, but there we go. Target two, uh, target two wasn't pretty either. Uh, eight, seven, eight. So good start across the top, seven, six, five started dropping out a little bit on me and then you can see here I didn't know that I had missed this I thought I had clipped it and I I suppose it could probably be argued uh you know there's like a slight powder burn on that green ring uh, but in all fairness I don't feel like it made um like the paper isn't torn on the green ring and I looked pretty close but anyway it's uh about the same score as what you're going to see in a minute but I did hit both of these nicely and you know, it's just, uh, it was fun, right? So then we got to targets three and four. These are the ones that are actually going to score for me. And I'm going to do this again because I really enjoyed this challenge. But let's look at target three. And it's weird because I thought that one of the other targets might actually score out better, but it, it oddly enough didn't. 
you can see I had a 668. So these were both a little low and then it came up on me, uh, 677. And then this one was almost center, but you know, I, again, I talked to uh, Elijah and, and he said that, you know, I scored it correctly, but boy, it sure gets tough uh, when you're almost completely covering that center section. So, uh, but anyway, I gave myself an eight. I don't feel like it warranted a nine or a 10 in any way. So that was eight. And then this one, I got lucky and just clipped it. And then this one was out here, but it did break the lowest ring, which is four. So I got a four there. And then down here, this just caught on the outside. And then this one caught the outside on the left. So that gave me 20 points. If we use the multiplier and we add everything up, we had 20 points on this row, 40, and then 48 plus the 20 here. And that is going to give us a total of 128 points. Final target, which I didn't think I had, I had done, uh, but I thought I had made some mistakes on this one, but it actually scored out a little better. You can see here, I got a 686. So, you know, I went left, center, right, kind of funny, but, and then I went uh, 688. So that felt pretty good. And again, these are so darn close, but I don't know any other way to score them other than to just honestly say that uh, they aren't dead center and they're still white showing. So to me, that uh, designates an eight. Same thing over here. And then this one was a seven. It was a little off center and it just caught inside the seven ring. Uh, this one went out into the five. And then this one, uh, this one sort of took out like five lines at once here. So it went, uh, or four lines, it went all the way out into the six ring there. And then, boy, I just got lucky and clipped the green ring right there and then got a 10 on that one as well. And that one totaled up 20, 44, 54, and 20, which pretty close. I had 20, 40 uh, versus 44, 48 versus 54, and then the 20 here. But that did give me another 10 points. So for this video, I'm at 138 on my top target. Can't wait to see what everyone else doing the challenge can do with it. And this was pretty bad weather. You saw that it was blowing around pretty good with that paper that was loose. In fact, this target number two was the one that was blowing around. But, um, you know, it was moving pretty good. I'm going to try to get back out, hopefully do it. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time Tuesday or not, but I will get back out and shoot this challenge uh, at least one more time before uh, everything is done this month. So with that, Elijah, thanks once again for putting together these day at the range challenges. And, uh, this one was definitely, uh, more guts than glory. And I hope to change that on the next one. So everybody get out and shoot. We will talk soon. You have a good one.